Sometimes the fun part about the martial arts is analyzing the artists themselves. Now, we all know that Chuck Norris can karate chop a planet in half and eat a black hole, but history is full of other practitioners who have earned the distinction of being wicked tough. Before Mr. Norris started punching people in their souls, we had the Bull Moose, also known as Theodore Roosevelt. Now, I know it's a little bit weird that I'm talking about Teddy Roosevelt in the martial arts video, but regardless of how you feel about him politically, this man was one of the toughest Americans to walk this earth. We're talking about a person who was shot in the chest and still delivered an hour-long speech before seeking medical attention, and it was said at the time of his death that death had to take him in his sleep because had he been awake, there would have been a fight. Fun fact, not only was Mr. Roosevelt an avid practitioner of Judo and trained under Yamashita Yoshiaki, a direct student of Judo's founder, Jigaro Kano, but he was also the first American to earn the rank of brown belt. He also loved boxing, and he put down training mats in the basement of the White House, and he worked out with anyone that was willing to spar with him. He never turned down a good fight and sparred with many notable people, including boxing champion John Sullivan. Now, speaking of John Sullivan, we have to give a nod of respect to this combatant. He was an Irish-American boxer and is recognized as the first heavyweight champion of glove boxing. Out of 44 professional fights, he won 40 of them, had a draw on two, one ended in no contest, and he lost just one match. Just one. But what puts him on this list is when the gloves came off. In 1889, he was challenged by heavyweight fighter Jake Kilrain, and the two of them engaged in bare knuckles boxing that lasted for 75 rounds. 75. At the beginning of the 76th round, and after more than two hours of fighting, the fight was called in victory of John Sullivan. Kilrain wanted to continue the fight, but it was feared he wouldn't survive. Bare knuckle boxing for two hours. Wow. But believe it or not, that wasn't the longest fight. On April 6, 1893, boxers Andy Bowen and Jack Burke engaged in the boxing match that went on for 110 rounds and lasted for more than 7 hours and 19 minutes. Burke had broken all the bones in both of his hands, and the referee called the fight a no contest as both fighters were two days to continue. It has the distinction of being the longest glove boxing match in history. I want to reach for an ice pack just thinking about these guys. So what do you think? Are these men worthy of the title Iron Warrior? Thank you for watching. Now, if you like this video, and if you would like us to highlight more of history's toughest martial artists, please let us know below, and be sure to share and subscribe. Thank you.